hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're having a great day not just a good day so today's mystery case is actually a love triangle case and you guys we all know how love triangles end even if it doesn't end deadly we all know somebody's going to end up badly hurt so let's get straight into the video so we're going to be talking about Laurent rudolph he was also called larry by most of his friends and yeah so if i call him larry in this video just you know i'm talking about Laurent, obviously and right now larry is actually presently 67 years old and during this case which took place in 2016 he was around 57 years old so for larry's earlier years he was a student in the university of pittsburgh and larry was actually very smart and most people in his class were always asking him for help to teach them and whatnot and he had a lot of friends follow suits so he was actually planning to become a dentist and when he graduated he wanted to open his own dental clinic and you know just run things from there and probably open a bigger business after that afterwards that was his plan and what he also told everybody and in school actually larry met a wonderful woman called bianca and they hit it off right away larry fell in love and he was always telling his friends that bianca was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen in his entire life so bianca and larry were actually like the power couple in school at that time people always voted them as best couple cutest couple you know how that kind of thing goes guys so after a while bianca and larry graduated from university of pittsburgh and not so long after larry actually opened his dental clinic which was actually doing averagely well at the time and bianca and larry fell so much in love because when they graduated they both now found the passion together of hunting they loved hunting so the hunting things and the little hunt trips they would take in the woods nearby made them even grow closer so larry could not even wait a day more to get married to bianca so they got married had two kids and they were living happily their two kids also grew up to love hunting too because obviously when you grow up in a household where something is dominant you would follow suit i guess so bianca was actually helping larry in his dental practice to fill in the space of like some employees to make things cheaper and the dental practice actually took off its business and became very successful at the point and he actually decided to open some more branches around pittsburgh and around the town that they were staying in arizona outside arizona and whatnot when larry's business boomed bianca decided to move back to her parents house and take the kids with her to raise the kids and you know have quality time with the kids because where she was living with larry was kind of like more business oriented you know what i mean larry also opened the three rivers dental group out of pennsylvania and it was also like you know larry was doing very good for himself so after a while larry moved back to where bianca was with her family and moved his family back to pennsylvania where his business was and everything so that they can start hunting together especially as the kids grew older they could now follow them to hunting you know and spend quality family time together they would hunt hippos deers and other animals actually and take pictures while at it while this was going on larry's business began to blossom even more to the extent that the family was financially independent in such a way that even if they do not work or larry doesn't work for a year his business kept running and kept on pumping money into the rudolph family his business was flourishing even more that larry even had the time to become a member in a hunting club and he was doing very well because he became the president of that club as well and the name of the club was called the safari club international after a while larry was having problems in the hunting club because some people started saying that larry was using his role as president to cheat on his wife and cheat with other members like younger members of the club and even not just in the club in the city or whatever and larry was trying to explain to the board members that this was only so because it was that some people wanted to take his place as presidency and the club was like hey you i understand what you're saying and even though we do not have proof of the fact that you actually are cheating on your wife 
we just didn't want to remove it from the club because it's giving a bad image to our club name and larry got so angry that he decided to leave the hunting club by himself even though they were going to even fire him or remove him or revoke his membership anyways but it was said that larry left that same day that they brought up the topic and the news obviously got to larry's wife and larry's wife knew that this whole thing was basically just political and he was actually not cheating on her bianca by the way and larry was rich so he could just compensate himself by going on a hunting trip with his wife because you know they loved hunting or with his family and but on this particular occasion after this whole thing happened and you know he saw that things were not looking any better for him and you know he just really loved hunting so he was really sad that he got kicked out of the group so he just decided to go on a hunting trip to zambia with his wife bianca and bianca was excited because she also loved hunting and she had never traveled so far before that's to africa to go hunting and in places like zambia and african countries you can pay as low as sixteen thousand dollars to go on a hunting spree on a killing spree for animals and whatnot so after the hunting trip that Larry and Bianca had in Zambia, they had one last hunting trip to go for before they moved back to the US and continued their daily life and their daily routine. So Larry woke up the next morning. He was in the kitchen trying to get some food while Bianca was in the sitting room of the apartment and she was unloading the guns and the stuff that they usually used to hunt, like the nets, food, baits, whatever and while all this was happening larry had a gunshot and the shock that came from hearing that gunshot made him drop everything and run to the sitting room where he saw bianca lay them flat on the ground larry is confused and starts screaming for help from people around or if anyone could hear and fortunately enough there were some hunters that were also passing by that some hunters that also came for the same hunting trip or whatever and they rushed to larry's aid and they tried to give bianca cpr and stop the blood from coming out but unfortunately bianca was already dead before they even called 911. so the hunters called the police but unfortunately bianca was even dead before the paramedics and the police could even come to her aid so the police asked larry what happened tried to interrogate the whole situation and evaluate the whole situation and larry explains that she probably did not know that one of the guns were loaded while she was trying to pack it into their hunting bag and probably in the process of her putting the gun on the table the back of the handle the handle of the gun hit the table and it just blasted on her chest so they basically termed her death as mishandling of the barrel of the gun like she did not know that there was a bullet in the gun larry was devastated and did not even know how to tell the news to bianca's family and his kids especially but he eventually did and decided that it was so expensive to actually bring bianca's body with him back to the u.s so he just decided to cremate her body right there in zambia and take the ashes with him to the u.s it was said that larry was depressed for some period of time like a year or so but he eventually got over it and had bianca in his loving memory so after like a period of one year plus larry got remarried to a woman called laurie they were living happily actually with larry's kids and five years after the whole death of you know bianca and whatnot the police arrived to larry's house knocked on the door and told him that he was being arrested for the murder of bianca his wife ex-wife right now obviously because he killed her so after five years the fbi opened the case of bianca again and some pieces of evidence played through together and this is what the fbi accounted for larry had actually been having laurie as a mistress during the years of him dating bianca so which means that the rumors that were said in the hunting club the safari international club were not false larry had apparently been cheating on his wife and this was just making laurie which is his 
side chick, his girlfriend at the time, even more angry because Larry had promised Laurie that he was going to divorce his wife. And after months going into years were passing by, Laurie was getting impatient and she was telling him that if he doesn't actually divorce his wife, that she was going to tell everyone what was going on between both of them. And Larry was telling her to be patient and to calm down. But unfortunately, things that or the plans that entered his head were way worse than for anybody to calm down. So apparently, Larry feels bad for the fact that he was going to of his wife so he decided to take her on her last hunting trip and to allow her to enjoy her time her last minutes or last lives or last whatever before she before he eventually carried out his plan so a day before they were supposed to travel back to the u.s while bianca was in the sitting room of the apartment they were in for their hunting trip larry had walked into the sitting room carried one of the guns on the table while Bianca was unloading some stuff from the bag on the table. And Bianca was confused, asking Larry, why are you loading the gun? You know we don't load the gun inside the house because we are afraid of accidents. We only load them once we've gone out in front of the porch. Larry was quiet during all this and just kept on loading the gun. Bianca was still very confused, standing there, not knowing what was going to happen to her. And apparently, Larry had loaded the gun and shot Bianca. Bianca fell to the ground while she was still alive at this point, trying to gasp for air. And Larry made sure that she was flat out dead before he decided to scream and place the gun right beside Bianca on the floor to make it look like it was an accident and she was the one that killed herself by mistake and right before he shot his wife bianca he said we wouldn't be hunting together anymore so within the few seconds of him saying that and him obviously about to shoot her bianca already knew her fate which was a very sad way to die with someone that you trust so dearly with someone that you trust more than anyone in the whole world for christ's sake this was your husband this is so sad and it's even worse that it took five years for the police to find this out because there were three occasions that made them know after years that this story that Larry said was not the case at all. They looked at Bianca's wound and the spread of the shotgun shell and they saw that this shot looks like it was taken like six or seven feet away from her. So this is not possible that she shot herself up close even if it was a mistake so the detective was wondering why larry was in such a rush to cremate her body especially when bianca's wish was that she wanted to be buried but larry did not respect her decision and he decided to just cremate her but the only reason why they didn't think that much of it was because he said that it was too expensive for him to carry the dead body back to us so he just decided to cremated there which seemed like a plausible reasonable reason at the time at that time three they looked at bianca's gun and they tried to look for every position that she could have been in and they saw that the way the gun was placed on the floor looked too perfect like it was staged that they wanted to make it look like she killed herself and the position that the gun was in there was no way she could have shot herself in that way because it did not look the position that it was in did not look like she would unintentionally pull the trigger there's actually a fourth reason too because there was multiple drop tests that were given to that gun that exact same gun they kept hitting the gun on the floor in different positions they were all up on bulletproof and trying to hit the gun in different positions to see if it would mistakenly blow up but no matter how hard they tried to hit that gun on different walls tables, it was not possible for that gun to have gone off because it never did for them. So all these reasons were not coincidental and they put two and two together and saw that Larry actually killed his wife, which was unbelievable to them at the point. That was probably why they did not even think that they were going to go through all of that. And immediately after Bianca's death, Larry cashed out $5 million worth of insurance life policy and 
he just used this money to start a new life with Laurie. So after five years in 2021, Larry was accused of the murder of his wife, first degree murder, and was found guilty in 2022. And he's probably going to get a life sentence. I can't even imagine what the Rudolph kids will be going through knowing that their dad killed their mom. Like, even Laurie herself might think that it was too absurd for him to do because she would just wanted him to leave his wife but even though she was also evil in that sense nobody deserves to die i feel he could have just divorced his wife or something but probably he did not want to lose half of his worth or his money that he has been making for a long time i really don't know at this point but my heart goes out to bianca's family and bianca's loved ones because this is not even anything like a precaution because why wouldn't you trust your own husband he's your husband for christ's sake so yeah that's the end of today's video guys so thank you for watching to the end i hope you guys loved and enjoyed this story don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on all my socials see you next time